Hey, it's Herman here again on Artlist, and after years of using Artlist, I've noticed how much faster I've been in finding my perfect song. That's why I wanna share some of the tricks and tips that I learned so that you too can find your perfect song faster and even discover hidden gems along the way. Let's go. Ever felt overwhelmed by too many options? When it feels like I'm looking for a needle in a haystack, Artless filtering system is a lifesaver. It's usually the first place that I go when I'm starting my search. Now, let's say that I need a song for my video where my cat's on this epic journey to space. Now, obviously this is make-believe because I, I don't have a cat. So I like to start off with moods over here on the left and I'll click epic and this gets me kind of in the ballpark of what I'm looking for and then clicking more filters will get me even closer so maybe exciting dramatic yeah an epic journey to space of course and then I can move over to the next filtering option which is video theme and this helps me narrow things down now it's an adventure so maybe it's travel because the cat's traveling the space next we move over to genre and because it's kind of like a sci-fi theme I can go for something that's like electronic you know cinematic because I'm going for something quite Quite dramatic. Now sometimes when I really want to dial things down, I'll filter by instruments. Now I'm a huge sucker for synths because they give this awesome cyberpunk vibe and I'm all about that. So let's go into instruments and I can go down to synths. And now we have some amazing options over here that we can scroll down and check out. And those are the main filtering options I use before I start sifting through the song results. What's, what, what's that? You have something even more specific in mind? Don't worry, so do I. And having a clear vision of what you're looking for makes such a huge difference in finding your perfect song. Luckily, Artlist is like a Swiss army knife with its additional sorting options. So on the top over here, you can see that it's sorted by staff picks, but you can click it and now you have options to sort it by top downloads or newest song. Um, it's really helpful if you live on this platform. Now the next option is vocal and instruments. Now you can choose for there to be vocals or just instrumental. Now I usually like to have just instrumentals because I have narration on top of the time and I don't really want like the vocals to be distracting or anything like that. Sorry, singers and rappers. Now, right next to it, we can even choose the BPM, which is the speed of the song. So we can put our own values or we can just pick slow song or fast song or somewhere in between. But in this case, I'm just gonna clear it because I'm quite flexible for what I'm looking for. And next to it, you can even choose the duration of the song. Having so many options, it's always so satisfying using all these filters and it really helps with nailing the right atmosphere. Here's a song I landed on for my Space Cat Adventure after applying all the filtering options. take my time going through the music results because it's quite fun discovering new songs and just feeling the vibe. Music is usually the last thing that I compromise on because of how important of a role that it plays in setting the mood of your video. But sometimes I'm faced with the reality of my client wanting to swap music at the very last minute. This is how many times it's happened this year already. High five if you're in the same boat. And don't worry because we actually have a solution for when you're on a crunch. Keyboard shortcuts let you get through songs faster than it takes to develop a migraine from sticky client situations. All you have to do is press the letter K on your keyboard to bring up all the shortcuts that you can use on Artlist. As you can see, you can easily skip forward in the song that you're listening to or just move on to the next track. You can even change the volume all with the keyboard. So if I'm playing a song like this and I'm just like, oh, I'm not really feeling it. Uh, maybe a different part of the song might sound better. So I'm just skipping forward to the middle and uh, it's not quite right. So let's skip over to the next track, just like that. And all I'm doing is just clicking some keyboard shortcuts. I'm not even touching the mouse. So if you ever walk by me and it looks like I'm hacking into the matrix, I'm probably just going through songs at 50 songs per second. Now, here is an awesome tip if you're working with Artlist while you're editing. So if you got two monitors like I do, then you can put your project on one of the monitors and you can put Artlist on the other. Now, this setup lets you browse songs while you're watching your footage and you can use keyboard shortcuts just like you would in your editing software. So not only does it feel like second nature, but it's also incredibly efficient. Give it a try. Now, do you sometimes listen to a track and you think to yourself, ah, oh, so close yet so far. Finding a song that's almost perfect can be quite frustrating. That's where this button comes into play. If I go over here and click the similar songs button, it'll give me a few more options to choose from. It's like having a personal music assistant by my side. And let me show you just how similar the results are by first playing our original track. And now one of the similar options. Still 
still in the same vibe, but you've got more to choose from to really nail down your perfect song. Now, another thing I like to do is to dive deeper into the artist's work by going into the same album that the song belongs into. So I just click over here and I can see all the other songs. Now this gives me a few more options that are still within the same vibe and I know the style is gonna be consistent because it's from the same artist. Now, Spearfisher is actually one of my favorite artists in the Artlist catalog. You remember when I said I was really into synths? Well, this is one of his songs that I've used in a project before. Whenever I listen to his music, it's like I'm transported into a whole new world. And the cool thing is there are so many other artists on Artlist who make you feel the exact same way with their songs. So here's another song and I want to show you that this is also a great way to find instrumental versions of the same song that you're looking for or even no lead vocals versions. So you have a lot of options to play with. Again. Sorry, singers and rappers. Now, sometimes when I'm still on the fence about a song and I need it to marinate a little bit longer in my head, what I like to do is hit the star icon next to a song. So for example, right over here, this song, I can add it to the favorites. And that way I can always go to my library right over here and then go to songs and sounds for me to dig it back up again. There are also times where I feel like this song is an absolute banger, but it's just not right for this specific video. It happens a lot and I don't want to lose the song or have to find it again in the future. And that's why saving it into a collection is my favorite way to stay organized. So let's say I want to save this top track over here. It's going down. I just go to the three dots over here, go to add to collection. And I've got a few collections that I've already made so far already. As you can see, I sort them out by like like different moods, different genres, and this helps me save so much time by going back to them instead of searching from scratch. And you can sort them by their mood or the projects they belong in. Saving songs into collections like this is my number one time saving tip on here. Now remember how I mentioned last minute music changes earlier? I know, I'm trying to forget about it too. Sometimes what I like to do is share a song to my client. So I just hit the three dots and I have the option to email it directly to my client or I can copy the link of the song. And if I go to my collections, I can even share links to my collections as well. You see, it's not just about finding the perfect song for yourself, but also your client. They'll appreciate having a say and you'll avoid unexpected surprises. Now, do you ever feel like you're having one of those off moments where you lack inspiration? Too often am I just staring at my screen, drawing a blank when I should be creating. So the final thing I wanna go over is something I've actually started doing quite recently and it's browsing the spotlight page. It's got curated music and sound effects collections that really help me get my gears turning in my head. So I just click spotlight on the left. Over here, there's a curated weekly collection that gets updated with a different theme each week, which keeps things absolutely fresh. Now, what I really like are the collections that are inspired by TV shows shows or movies in this case. Oh, we got one that's inspired by John Wick. Now I watched John Wick 4 not too long ago. So let's click in and check it out. What do we got over here? Okay. Ooh, this song makes me want to avenge my dog. I don't have a dog either. I'm learning how much I want a pet now. So those are all the ways that I find my perfect song on Artlist. And by following these tips, finding yours has never been easier. You'll be making your best videos and your viewers will be left asking, where did they find? that amazing music. These tips can also be applied to their sound effects, footage, and templates, making sure that you find all the high quality assets your video deserves. So check out Artlist for all your video creating needs, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want more videos that empower you as a creator. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.